HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Depending on the size of your home or how many floors you have, you may have one or more units that condition your home. Your heating system circulates warm air inside your home to keep a comfortable temperature. And it cleans the air with a filter or filters. If you have an air conditioning system, it keeps your home cool on hot days and can also reduce humidity inside your home when it's operating. It uses the same system as your heating unit, but has a condenser that's located outside of your home for cooling the air. It's important to keep the condenser free of debris that can hinder its performance. Now with either system, you'll want to keep it in good operating condition. Read the owner's manual for your HVAC equipment for information regarding the manufacturer's product warranty and proper maintenance recommendations for the system. This will help keep your home at a comfortable temperature and minimize your energy costs. Along with air vents, you have vents called return air grills. These allow air to be cycled back into the HVAC system for reconditioning. As you decorate your home, make sure to not cover these grills up with furniture or wall pictures as your system needs the air from these vents to keep the system working properly. Air filters are inexpensive. We recommend only using basic air filters and replacing them every 30 days to keep your system operating efficiently. An easy way to remember to do this is every time you pay your utility bill, change your air filter. Air filters are located in the wall, ceiling, or at the unit. You'll be shown the location of your filters at your home orientation. Keep a supply of them on hand and install them with the system running and the arrows pointing towards the flow of the air. Changing your air filters helps your system run efficiently and can help reduce higher heating and cooling costs. Your HVAC system is generally located in the attic, but could also be in a maintenance closet. You have a drain pipe located on the side of the unit. This is the drain line that removes condensation that's created by your air conditioning system. The line discharges to a drain pipe in the wall. Water draining from this line is normal and can be heard when the system is running. If you live in a multi-level home, you may notice that the overall temperature varies from floor to floor. This is normal and caused by the simple fact that warm air rises. Because of this, if you have a separate system for the upstairs, during the winter you may notice that it runs less. Now if you only have one HVAC system in your home, you can adjust the airflow from your vents. In winter weather, partially closing the upstairs supply vents and completely opening the downstairs vents will increase warm air to the lower level. In the summer, if you have an air conditioning system, just reverse the process. Now, an air conditioning system is designed to keep you comfortable, but it does need time to cool your home. When the forecast calls for hot weather, turn your system on the night before the hot weather hits, setting the thermostat at a moderate temperature. This will help it cool your home gradually and will help it operate efficiently. It will also help decrease the chance of the system overworking or freezing up. Now, under normal conditions, your AC system can maintain a temperature about 20 degrees cooler than the outside temp. During the summer, there can be a lot of humidity or water in the air. Because high humidity increases condensation and the chance for mold, it's important to maintain airflow through your house. A great way to help is by using an air conditioning system with the HVAC fan running throughout the summer, allowing air to be constantly cycled through your home. And when you leave for vacation, don't shut the system off, just adjust the temperature a bit to save on cooling costs. Now, another suggestion. When bathing, cooking, or doing laundry, turn your exhaust fans on for about 30 minutes to cycle warm, moist air to the outside of your home. And if your home is equipped with a 24-7 exhaust fan, it's located in your laundry room or in some other suitable location and should be operated per the manufacturer's instructions. Finally, at least twice a year, clean out your dryer vent system on the inside and outside of your home. This too will help keep unwanted moisture out of your home. During the summer, keep exterior doors and windows shut and draw the blinds during the day to keep out the hot sun. Periodically check the weather stripping at your exterior doors to ensure that it's in place and not damaged. You'll want to do this in the winter too. Now, an advanced programmable thermostat may have been included in your home or 
you may purchase one after you move in. These types of thermostats learn your habits, like when you're home or away, or what temperature you ideally like the home to be, and make changes to the system automatically for you. The changes can help your HVAC system operate more efficiently and may even lower your utility bills. In addition, many of these systems are internet-based, allowing you to see and adjust your home's temperature from a web application. So if you leave for more than a few days, you can remotely adjust your thermostat to save on utility costs. Now, you'll want to have your HVAC system professionally serviced at least twice a year, once during the heating season and again during the cooling season to maintain peak performance.